Yeah, we had about, uh, because of the floods, we had about three feet of water in all the offices down in IS. Also in our server room where our computers were at, we had um, three feet of water in there as well. Luckily we had a raised floor, but still was a foot above the raised floor, so the computers uh, were subject to some of the water. Uh, luckily, um, not all the computers were affected. However, there was a, f a small fire in there that was one of the UPSs, which is the un un uninterrupted power source. When we have a power outage, that's as batteries and it takes over. Uh -huh. uh, that began to smolder uh, uh -huh. because of the short and put all kinds of smoke and uh, uh, not acid, but kind of a gritty type mm -hmm. burning residue on everything. Okay. Um, so the ser all the servers are damaged. Uh -huh. um, we're trying to get them back up right now. We're hoping that uh, we're about halfway there, um, but I don't think we're going to be able to get all the way up. We're probably going to have to purchase some additional hardware to, to get everything back up and running fully functional. Uh -huh. do, you, do you have or is, has anybody given an estimate on the damage? <sighs> Not that I'm aware of, but I know that we probably have um, probably close to 150 to 200 thousand dollars worth of equipment in that room that's probably going to have to be replaced. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason it has to be is because we have no idea what kind of smoke and humidity damage is done to the equipment. So it may work now, but it might not work. In a uh huh. Way. Now I, I noticed some some printers and, and computers and monitors and stuff outside uh, the functional fitness building. Mm -hmm. um, are those setting out there to dry out? Or are you going to try? Well, and they're completely washed away. They, they all were floating in the water when mm. we went down here. All the we just had brand new PCs that we purchased to do an upgrade. Uh -huh. And the boxes inside the, P, the PCs inside the boxes were just floating down the hallway. Oh boy. So all that uh, stuff's all been that, thrown all out. All that stuff's been lost. Uh -huh. it's, we can't salvage it. And you guys had just been through this once before when the pipe burst and you had some Remodeling done, yeah. clean up and remodeling. That water came to the ceiling. This water came to the floor. We don't know when the downstairs is going to be completely clean. Clean. We are moving our offices up to the old court area. Okay. We're going to move some of our servers up there as well. We probably will not deploy any redeploy any equipment in that room once we're done. We're probably going to permanently move it at this point. This is a good opportunity to do that. Move upstairs. Move upstairs uh -huh. and maybe move some of our servers off site. Uh huh. So oh, okay. Not exposed to oh wow. Damage. Okay. Okay, we're going down into the basement we are of the municipal building. This is underneath this the... This is uh, underneath the courts. Okay. This is underneath the mayor's court. I uh, no, it's not mayor's court. The original courts. The ori okay. Or functional fitness. Team. Okay, right. Functional fitness. Look, here's how Terry came in before me last night. The water was up to here. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're talking at least three... Good three foot. Uh huh. This is where all the main power comes in. And they got to let that dry all out of steam. Uh huh. This is where all the electrical power comes in. I think so, yeah. See how big, look how big the breakers are. Yeah. I mean, these are huge. Is uh, the city building going to be open tomorrow? You know, I don't know. Okay. Jeff might know. I okay. know. So Belfour has these big heavy-duty fans running. Right, right on all the electrical. Going down to the basement of the police department, uh, located here are the locker rooms. The uh, police officers also are city jail, and uh, most of it was uh, underwater by at least several inches as of last night. I'm gonna walk you over to the jail area. Our 
jail is currently closed. We released all the prisoners that were housed in there yesterday due to the fact that it was flooding. Uh, they were all misdemeanors, offenders, and so they were released and given another court date. How many of them do you know? I believe there were six housed last night. Okay. Walk into the jail area. This is one row here on our left. Could you maybe show how high the water was? Uh, I, guess? I wasn't here okay. when that happened last night, but I believe it was uh, probably at least beyond the line here, the okay. baseboard line. Okay. Now, um, a company uh, obviously came in and, and did some cleanup. They're in the process of cleaning out. The jail hasn't been cleaned yet. Okay. A lot of the water has dissipated. The okay it was the water dissipated, and they'll come in and scrub the floor. Yeah, we're going to actually have to uh, clean up the floors. We're going to have to sanitize everything uh, before we're allowed to house, house prisoners again. Any idea how long that'll be? Uh, I can only speculate. I'm going to think it's going to be several days. Hmm.